Yo, what is going in my fucking jeans? What's good, people? It's slightly weird then. Don't know why I did that, but there we go. Welcome to today's video. I do apologise because I was meant to upload a, a different video today. However, the missus yesterday, she was fucking puking everywhere. It was like green shit. Fucking bastards. Absolutely bar. And we had to, uh, she was down at mine, and what we had to do is I had to drive her back up to hers because she wasn't fit to drive. Then I had to get a train, well, I had to get a taxi to the train station, then a train, then a bus, then I got picked up. So that was fucking joyful. But yeah, I do apologize that this video is going to be slightly different. But if you do enjoy this video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and all that kind of good bollocks. So what is in my bag? Where's my gym bag, George? What the fuck is in your bag? Actually, do we even give a fuck what's in your bag, George? Probably not. But I'm still here watching it. Why are you watching this if you don't give a fuck? Why? Why am I even doing this video? No one cares. But if you do care, then sit back and listen. But if you don't, yeah, slightly weird. I've also shortened my bit. My bits are shorter. Like, look, shorter. Not fucking out here anymore. So that's good. But I am waffling and chatting a load of shit. So let's just dive into what's in my bag. What? Oh, this lighting is shite. Start this a bloody game. Maybe, okay, let's take off my hat because this hat isn't. The light is terrible. Anyway. Deal the hair, the hair shit. Oh my god, have you dyed your beard, George? Yes, I have. Get over it. Oh my god, you look so shit. Yes, I know. Get over it. It's not the end of the world. There's a clothes horse there, if anyone gives a fuck, because I know people in the back, in, in my comment section, love to tell me, oh my god, you've got something in the background, which I am pretty aware of. But yeah, there, there's a clothes horse. That's a radiator. And anyway, if that's a radiator, believe it or not, there's my advent calendars over there, there's a drawer. Oh look, there's a mirror in there where I sometimes do a bit of that. But yeah, I sound like a little twat and I do apologise. So what's in my gym bag? Very straightforward. This is my gym bag, I'll show you. Ain't the best gym bag I've ever seen. It says, believe, achieve. I got this sent to me by a company once and I actually do use it, believe it or not. I do use it, not the best bag I ever used, like the zip fell off the other week, it was a little bit of a mess. But like I said, it's a nice bag, I can just kind of, you know, put on my shoulder and I can just carry it around and then, you know, hold it here looking like I'm a fucking big man. Um, when really I'm not a big man because I'm, I'm guess what, I'm five foot fucking six. Let's do it this way, can I put a hat on this way? I can, I can do. Anyway, so beginning with, the essential number one is a belt. This is a belt which I put on um, when I do some heavy shit. I don't always rely on belts because I just think that you need to get your rectors, so your back, your lower back quite strong. Relying on these, I'm just like, you see people train chest and they'll wear a fucking belt, or they're training arm, they're doing arm day and they're wearing a belt. I'm thinking, what's the, f what's the logic behind that? Oh, it's gonna keep my waist small, bro. <sighs> anyway, there's a belt. This is called R. DX, believe it or not, RDX. No, I did. Anyway, the essentials, the essentials, logbooks. Here are all my logbooks. So this one's for my delts and arms, back. Fancy my logbooks. I've got these from Wilkinson's, believe it or not. This is my legs one here, and this is my chest and tricep one. Very straightforward. I've already, I'll do it in another video on how I lay it out, but for you guys to see here, this is how I lay out my workout, stuff like that. Very straightforward. Also, we have a pen. Pen's very important because this, this does red and black. So I just turn the nozzle like that and it gives me red and black quite good, quite handy. I like to present my logbooks pretty presentable if that makes any sense at all. So those are the main important things. Again, some people don't logbook their workouts, they don't give a shit about the workouts. Totally fine, I'm just showing you what I've got, okay? We have got one of these bad boys. This is a, um, a little bit of a band work, you know, a bit of fucking warm up, a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of fucking a bit of rotator cuff work. This is bands. I don't apply this to any kind of uh, machine because I'm not really into band work just yet. It's not really my thing. I just stick to a basic dumbbell and barbell, you know, it's just very straightforward. They didn't ban their shit 40 years ago when, I don't know who was around in 40 years ago, like Arnold, but yeah, I mean, a lot's changed. But yeah, band, I'll do a little bit of mobility with this, I'll open the rotator calf, stuff like that. All good, I'd recommend getting one of these. This is quite tight, I guess. It's not really a, a really, a, I don't know. I'm gonna change shit there, but. Yeah, that's a band. We didn't have a bottle, very important. I put major workouts in this. And yes, I do the same bottle every time. And yes, I wash it probably, I'll be honest with you, I probably once a week I wash this. And that will remind me to wash it right now. I will wash that. We have then the following very important straps. These are straps obviously for lifting. So many people, I know people that put the straps on the wrong way. Then it's literally a nightmare. But straps, yeah. For anyone that doesn't know, or you should know, straps go across like that. They don't go this way, they don't go that way, they don't go fucking round like this. They go across. They go across the thumb. Very straightforward, look, across. I've seen so many people in the gym wearing bloody straps wrong. They'll do it like this, this is how they do it. I'll show you, I'll put it on the other hand. They'll do it like this. That's not right. Strap, that's not right. That's on the wrong arm, that's on the wrong hand. But there we go. Straps, very important. These ones are power aesthetics. 
Yeah. Cool. Hoodie. OG subscribers will know about this hoodie. This is the uh, old Gymshark one that I always wear. It mainly looks my arms quite big, I'll be honest with you. That's why I wear it. But I don't wear it anymore because I've gone for a more looking like a fucking baggy homeless like, looking geezer. No, baggy homeless prisoner. I look like I'm a fucking prisoner in that kit. So spare jumper just in case something happens to my other jumper and I'm shit. I'm in the shit. Pre-workout of choice is probably not the greatest choice to ever used, but this one is the Kraken pre-workout. Again, I think this is good for like, not focus, I think it's good for pumps mainly. Like I always get a good kind of pump off it. Like my mind muscle connection is very good or better when using this. However, when it comes to like, oh, you know when you're in a pre-workout and you feel like you want to fucking start on any kind that walks past. Come on then, what? Like that. Don't feel anything like that, you know what I mean? It's very much just just a basic kind of pre-workout, which for me is a shame because I, 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 I was looking forward to trying this and I'm quite quite disappointed. So there was really great reviews. Oh, this is the best pre-workout online. For myself, in my opinion, it just wouldn't, wouldn't did work for me, which is sad. I also have a pack of M&M Crunchy Caramel ones. I've tried these and as you can see, they're still like three quarters full because I didn't actually like them. Quite disappointed. They were limited edition, believe it or not. They, yeah, didn't really, I mean, this is, if you get a little bit hungry, you know, when you're in the gym and stuff like that, just have a few of these, you know, just tick you over. But for me, that was just a no-no. I don't, I don't have sweets or anything like that whilst I train. Don't believe in it. I just think sweets are just a, a poor quality of choice. But I left these in here because I'm not actually sure why. I think I tried them when I was with the missus and I didn't like them. So they need to go in the bin. I have a funnel, very important. This is, I got this one sent from Insight, Insight Supplements. Very important because the amount of times I've taken my intro workout with me and I've had to use a piece of paper, you know, to put in the actual bottle and then try and pour it down. Just get yourself a funnel, very straightforward. And you can take this one anywhere you want with you. Fucking easy, happy days. So I use a funnel, which is quite good. I also have, okay, a pair of beats. So I use the beats. I don't, to be fair, I don't know what they are called. The beats solo, wireless one. Yeah, solo free wireless these are in matte black obviously very good for when I'm training wireless as well <laughs> bit like that I don't listen to that kind of music but yeah uh, some beats in there just in case I mean you can wear uh, whatever headphones I used to have 20 pound fucking wireless ones from Amazon they did just the same if not sounds a bit louder than those ones. I also have some Liquid chalk from my protein. I think this is really good. I'd 100% 10% recommend this. Pretty good, if I'm honest with you. Again, when it comes to deadlift and stuff like that, I, I'm a, I'd rather chalk instead of straps. That's me personally. I don't know why. I just have a better connection, man, with chalk. So I uh, get this from my protein. I think they've updated their bottles now, but this one's quite old. It's pretty empty, to be fair. I think I have a spare one, believe it or not. Then we've got some straps again. These ones are shred asylum ones. Um, I always carry around spare straps just in case I'm pulling and it breaks, you know what I mean? There's nothing worse than breaking my arm when a fucking strap breaks. So I got myself a uh, another pair of straps if I can actually find the other one. Oh, great. Well, I just have one pair, well, half a pair. So in the sides, these have like little bits on the side, little netting bits, so I'll dive into this one first. It's only got one thing in it, unfortunately. <laughs> Fitbit. I used to use a Fitbit, but the screen broke. So the screen bit here is broken. I want to put this back on, but does anyone know in the comments down below how you can fix a screen on your Fitbit? Because I enjoy wearing a Fitbit, to be fair. I, I used to like tracking my steps and stuff like that, but unfortunately, um, I can't now because the screen's broken. So let me know if anyone knows anyone that could fix this or anything like that and sort it out. But I used to love a Fitbit until I, I used my mind this is weird, yeah. But I used to go for like a walk or something, finish the day off, done like 15, I don't know, 14,800 steps. I would think, oh, fuck me, I could round that up to 15,000 steps. Poor relationship with the Fitbit, absolutely poor. So I took it off, best decision I ever made. But I do want to reintroduce it here and there again, hopefully. What else do we have? We had a lid and we have a receipt in that bit, so that's nothing good. Okay, in this bit, we have some Nurofen. Just in case, you know, you're at the gym, don't feel too good, you feel a little bit sore, muscles are really sore. Get some Nurofen down there, two of those, bam, good to go. Feeling a little bit better. I also bought, to be fair, liquid chalk. This one I got from like a local cycling shop, believe it or not, and they did like the sports like, brand stuff in there. I use this, it's not very good, I'll be honest with you. It's not the best liquid chalk. I'd probably recommend uh, my proteins one. But yeah, you can go into like any shop. If you don't want to buy online, you can just go into a shop, like a cycling shop or a camping shop. They do liquid chalk like this. Um, so this is quite good. Again, it's not the best, but it will do the job. And also I have Pound. I have a pound coin in my bag, believe it or not. Oh, and another receipt, great. That is my gym bag. Look, that's my gym bag. Those are the essentials I have in my gym bag. Would I recommend them? 
You don't have to fucking do it. Who gives a shit? You don't have to. Some people just turn up with a bottle. Some people don't even fucking drink water when they train. You can turn up with nothing. But I carry around the essentials like my belt, um, my pre what my pre well, it's not essential, but my straps, my chalk, Nurofen, Fitbit, fucking headphones. Good headphones, solid headphones, you know? It, Get yourself a solid pair of headphones. I recommend the Beats Solo. Free ones, the wireless ones, these are very good. I would 100% recommend them. And to be fair, I didn't know that this bit here, this bit here is like a pause button here. I found that out. I've had these for about four months and I've only just found that out, which is pretty weird. But get yourself a nice pair of headphones. Got myself the big. All in all, that's my fucking gym bag. And this is probably today's video. Like I said, I do apologise, this is probably the worst video you've, or worst bag fucking video or gym bag thing you've ever seen in your life. And you're probably unsubscribed because every time I upload a YouTube video, I sound like I just lose subscribers. I think, what's the point of me uploading if I'm just going to lose subscribers? But there we go, each to their own is what I say. Let me know what's in your gym bag. What's in your, are you watching this now? What is in your gym bag? Um, comment down below. Guess what, you can comment down below. Bag. If you watch the whole thing, if you haven't watched the whole thing, who cares? I don't blame you. If you have watched the whole thing, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You do mean a lot. Also, if I could fit this in my gym bag, I would. This is my phone roller. I got this off Amazon. Cost me about 15 quid. Really good one. It's got like different kind of, you know, materials on it. It's got like a, a, a soft one. It's got like some bubbly one. And it's got... Oh, it's only got two bits to it, but there we go. Oh, yeah. Kind of fucked that bit up. But yeah, thank you for watching today's video. I do apologise that this is shit. There will be a video on later on the week. I hope all the nuts are sorted. Hopefully you're looking forward to Christmas. I definitely am. I will get some Christmas vlogs out for you for sure. Full day being on Christmas Day. Ooh, I mean shit I am. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit guys. Thank you for watching and take care.